Hi guys and welcome to the video, my name is Clinton Lofthouse and you're tuned into photomanipulation.com. In this short tutorial I'll be showing you how to change any skin colour to a white or very pale colour. And I'm also going to show you how you can use the same technique to change any hair to a grey colour. So if you're creating fantasy images or if you want to make someone look old, these are the techniques for you. If you're new here, welcome. We're not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialise in photo manipulation, digital art and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out 5 videos a week. Let's roll the video. So here is an image I have been playing around with Photoshop. I've just been practising um, doing some kind of gothic style images um, so I'm using this image here so I've already added the blood which I'm still um, going to perfect later on but for now I'm going to focus on actually turning the skin from the ready normal looking skin as you see here into a more gothic looking pale skin and the way we do this is by using the channel mixer so I'll be honest, I don't really use the channel mixer for anything else apart from this. So let's get started. So what we want to do first is you want to create three channel mixers. So the channel mixer is up here in the right hand corner of your adjustment panel. So let's go up, let's click it and we want to make three of these. And then we want to click on the first one, we want to set it to monochrome and then we want to click on the second one and we want to stick that on monochrome and then we want to click on the third one and we want to stick that onto monochrome as well so as we go back down to the bottom we want to leave this on normal but we want to bring this down to 40 percent so as you will see later we can play around with these um opacities but for now this is the base um line i want you to use all these on and then you can experiment a little bit afterwards so then we go to the second channel mixer and we want to set this to screen like so and we want to put that on to about 30 percent somewhere here let's get onto 30 and then what we want to do is set this one to soft light and we want to put that on to about 30 percent as well like so so we've got all the settings right now what we want to do though is we want to put it in to a group so if we select all right click and go to group from layers and we'll call this skin whiten and then what we can do is we can add a layer mask to that and we can press ctrl i and invert that so it hides the adjustments that we've just made so our image should look like how it was when it started so what we want to do next is we want to press B for brush and we want to set our opacity or our flow sorry to 100% and I always paint on 100% because then I can always lower the opacity later but when you paint at 100 you can see where it is being affected and where it isn't. So we want to make sure your brush is set to black, to white sorry and let's just start painting on the face and as you can see now we are basically painting the pale skin onto our model by revealing it on this layer mask here. So this is also a non-destructive technique. So let's just start painting away at this face. If you want, you can paint the lips. I would like to leave some colour in the lips. Let's just paint around here. Let's paint in between this hair. And we've got this red highlight here so we've got a nice pale effect coming on now so I'm just going to draw this onto the neck as well where if there's any skin you want it to be pale so for me that looks quite good you could if you wanted you could paint away all the color in the eyes or you could switch your brush to black and we could just paint back a little bit of colour in the eyes as well around the eyes like so just so it doesn't look like you've just kind of painted literally everything um, pale you want, might want a little bit of colour in the eyes and a little bit of colour in the lips like so 
let's switch back to white and let's just make sure we've covered all this face here so because this is non-destructive what we can do is we can open the group here and we can play it with these different uh, channels so the normal one um, is what you use for the saturation so if we play with the opacity of the normal layer you can add some color back into the skin or you can even make it less pale the reason why I use it this way and I didn't just use a black and white adjustment filter and use that is because it doesn't look realistic when you just basically saturate the face to me that doesn't look realistic you can tell you've just put a black and white filter on and then painted out the skin you still want a little bit of color in so that's why we um, have it on 40% like so this looks more realistic than just completely desaturating the image but if you wanted to well you could desaturate a little bit more so let's say 52% and then the channel mixer which is set to screen that is what affects the brightness of the whiteness so let me just show you if I put this up as you can see it makes the image or the paleness brighter so we want this on 30 it usually works quite well which is why I usually start that but if you wanted to make it a little bit brighter you could do but I will leave that on 30 and then the soft light channel mixer that is the one that controls the contrast so you can go let me just show you there you go so let's have a look at the contrast on this we could actually add a little bit more in so 32 percent so not much more but 32 um, percent is what we're going to go for and then let me close that so let me turn that off and on we've got a nice realistic um skin kind of whiten or we've made some of them look pale but what we can also do using the same technique is we can make people's hair grey so let me just duplicate this group here and let me just delete this layer mask and then let's add a layer mask on and let's control I what we're gonna do now is just look at the hair so let's paint the effect onto the hair so like again let's put this at like 99 percent let's pin the effect onto the hair like so going for those real gothic grey hair vibes like so So you could leave it like that, or we can play around with the channels like we did with the skin a little bit. So let me just bring this around here. So what we can do is go back into the group and for the grey hair we can desaturate this quite a lot more. So we would want to go to the channel mixer on the normal one and then if we just desaturate a little bit like so we've got the hair let's add let's see what happens when we brighten that up a little bit so not too much so 52 percent and then we can add some more contrast if it looks a little bit too light so we can add more contrast so it darkens so it kind of matches the tone of the rest of the image and there we go it's that simple it's a super easy technique and it's one i used to use a lot on fantasy images um, again if you wanted to make her skin even paler um, you can do just playing with channels but also I would suggest always leave a little bit of color in the face uh, especially near around the cheeks and the lips as well and maybe the eyes sometimes the eyes work sometimes it doesn't but that there is a very simple way to pale skin to make someone's hair gray so I hope you found this video enjoyable and you've learned something. If you have, please like and subscribe as we will be putting out more videos like this all the time, five a week. And we truly appreciate your support. And thanks a lot, guys. I will see you next time.